My greatest takeout on how to be an inclusive leader was when Amanda Webb described uh, being inclusive as having all employees feel like they belong to an organisation. My greatest takeout from the session today on how to be an inclusive leader was probably the importance of, of, of leaders being people people, so being focused on supporting your team to, to really recognise you know, their own talents and strengths and that means not only recognising people like yourself but people who bring you know, diverse backgrounds and experiences and preferences. I think it's all about um, how you make sure you're checking your unconscious bias. Um, how you make sure that you're addressing things that you necessarily aren't aware of but may influence the decisions you make and how you go about that. I think for me the really big message of the afternoon was leaders who can create that sense of belonging and inclusion who make everybody feel important and make everyone feel as if their contribution is valued. I love the comment that we tolerate a bad smell um, because I really think that we need to get way beyond just tolerating diversity. It needs to be about celebration, it needs to be about giving more people a voice and it needs to be about being a role model. Um, my biggest take out tonight about being an inclusive leader is to encourage and allow people to bring their whole selves to work and that includes allowing an open, honest space uh, allowing people to talk about what they need to be successful at work and enabling them to reach their high potential.